can ask her to leave sight now, please. I told you when I was up there, I'm, I'm on my way out. Yeah, can you stop filming as well, please? No. Private property, can you kindly leave? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we're going to take a look at the BMW Group Plant 12.0 at Hams Hall. Look how nice this place looks with a water fountain in the middle. Immaculate grounds. But yeah, I have um, intelligence on this place that this is where they make the BMW engines. So let's go and take a closer look. I like these planning notices. North Warwickshire Borough Council have said that BMW want to erect an extension or a canopy. That's nice of them to tell us about that, isn't it? To see if we uh, object. Let's go and see if we can have a look around to find out where it is. I can't see any fish in there just yet. But it's certainly a nice setting. And I don't expect to see any other make of vehicle in this car park other than BMW. <laughs> Electric charging points. Please hold your card on. So it's not free. Is this free of charge to charge your car from this? Yeah, so am I. Who don't know. Maybe this is just like the fast version because that looks like a special, uh, special connector to me. The BMW i35. So we've come from here and we're going to follow this footpath all the way down there to see where it leads us. And here we have some sort of uh, solar panel with batteries all locked up. It's quite unusual. Yeah, everyone can uh, work out what a solar panel looks like, but to have it just there, like that, with a cable actually going all the way down there, so it must be providing power to something. Situated all the way down there. And they're keeping the grounds immaculate with a little road sweeper, just sweeping up all the leaves. And as we continue to walk around, we've even got these uh, grids, which give you a little glimpse down into the, the basement there. Strange, isn't it? A big pipe, what looks like to be a round pipe of some sort. It smells a bit like sewage as well, to be honest. And that's the best view we've had all day inside the plant where you can see engines being made right now look i never thought i'd get this close wow look at that how amazing is that being able to see inside an engine manufacturing facility you see all the cranks all the pistons all the stuff moving around what can we see from this angle You're right. Not allowed. Why not? <laughs> oh, crazy. But yeah, we are on uh, private land here, but nobody's asked us to leave yet. So we're just having a little wander around, see what interesting things we can see, of course. I'm filming around anything I can see from a public, publicly accessible path, as a, like an experiment. You shouldn't be filming this, it's not available to be filmed. Yeah, but there's no barriers or fences that... No, sorry, this is private property, you shouldn't be filming it, honestly. This is all a part of the experiment, so I'm glad you've responded in such a polite manner. What it is, anything that's publicly accessible, without any fences or barriers or security. No, because it's an experiment. I'm going to see how security behave. Uh, right, okay. All right, so. But please, because some people can get a bit upset over it. That's the only thing. Like, yeah, but it, as long as they um, behave professionally, well, 
then everybody's going to be a winner. Well, yeah, but not everybody does, so that's the problem. Well, you have, so you're leading the way. Well, okay, all right. The only thing I would ask is, please, would you just go around to security and let them know what you're doing? Where are they? Right, so if, if you go out, if you go out through here. Right, that's... Right, so you'd have to go out here, walk around the, the main road, and then security is down on the, um, right. just down the bottom there. Unfortunately, that's a little bit too much of hard work because do you know as I've just walked by your main yeah. pond where the fountain is there's a path that leads me here yeah, well, we now if security didn't want people to come on they'd be placed there wouldn't they yeah but we, we don't want to put fancy all I know the way you, you're making such a nice job at making this place look beautiful yeah. I, so don't worry about okay. me I'm just going to walk around I will come I will come in contact with security at some point all right, and well. let's let's see if they behave as professional as you okay all right no, I can't touch because COVID. <laughs> but thank you, thank you. I won't be long anyway. It's five minutes and I'll be out to the next site. So we've walked all the way from there and that's the place where we had that conversation with the very polite gentleman. And we've only got this little bit to do now. But it does look like there's a gate down there. So we'll have a little nosy through the gate and then we'll disappear. So here we are, right at the back gate, no security, no uh, movement at all, just a bike shed and a turnstile for staff. But one thing I've noticed quite interesting is up at the top here, they've got this special machine that's cutting the grass. So I'm going to have a little nose there because I've never seen one of these before. So look at that, it's like a robot. He's got the control there. And it cuts the grass without you even being close to it. And I bet that can cut really, really deep stuff. When you see the tracks on it, I bet that can get across any terrain. But you see he's wearing all the protective gear. He's got the, the shield on, the ear defenders. So I don't really want to be getting too close, but we'll certainly have a watch, have a watch of this for a minute. Matey, what's that called? What's it called? Robo flail. Robo flail, I've never seen one before. Oh. What's the benefits of using one of them? Uh, it's because of when you've got rough, uh, rough terrain and tree stumps are coming in, just a lot. So you haven't actually got to get in, in amongst the train yourself, exactly, you're yeah, just sending yeah. the robot? It stops trip hazards as well, we're tripping over stumps and stuff like that. So that yeah, is really yeah. good. It's a fantastic piece of kit, it cuts time and everything down, so yeah. Thank you mate, you've been very professional, thank you. That's brilliant that is. You ever seen one of them before? No. A robot that cuts grass. <laughs> Who do you work for? Do you work for MIT or? No, no, I'm a member of the public. I'm making a, an interesting video today about anything that I can see. So I just wander on. Do you know the publicly accessible areas? Do you know the, the, the lack of any barriers and stuff? We can just wander on, as you know. Can you? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Okay, let me double chat on. Well, are you, are you security of the place? Yeah. Yeah, I'm finished now anyway, so I'm going to make my way to the exit, all right? Yeah, okay. That's best if you do for us, please. Sorry? That's if you can do that for us, please. That's appreciated. Yeah, yeah. Don't take any films on here at all without permission. You can. Take care. It certainly gets through uh, thick stuff, look. Look how thick it's cutting through. And you'll be struggling to get through that with a, a normal lawnmower. So just send the robot in. Awesome bit of kit. I sent the fire truck. a nice bit of kit there as well isn't it is that base there is it all the time is it is it required uh, much like fires are they common or not not nowadays is it i bet back in the day i bet it's just like a, a tick box thing you have to have certain things on site ready to respond and this is one of them brilliant i'm making my way out now mate all right 
going to be a thing of the future as well keyless car sharing so you have an app on your phone this one's by alpha city or alphabet and you just it tells you where the nearest car sharing car is and you just arrive but you see inside there look driver only no passengers and when you've got new buildings being made you have to have car sharing spaces within like the planning permission else it won't be granted do you know do you know these do you know these car sharing cars these are really really good for the future i don't mind what you have you have an app and you it tell you where the nearest car is available on the car sharing app can i ask you to leave sight now please i told you when i was up there i'm, I'm on my way out yeah can you stop filming as well please no private property can you kindly leave you was doing well but now you you your level of professionalism is getting lower and why is that then because when I was up there yeah. and I told you I'm on my way out, why do you then feel it necessary to come and say, you're trespassing, get off? I haven't asked you to get off, I've asked you to leave side, please. Yeah, and I'm just politely having a conversation with you about something interesting about car sharing in the future. You should leave me on here and talk. I've got the phone. I can. Car sharing. You shouldn't really, it's probably property. Who's giving permission to film on the Right, like, like I said, yeah, if there's no barriers, no fences, and there's publicly. What have you walked up through? A public footpath. No, no barriers. It's barriers in the car park. No, no barriers that I've gone by. Have they not? No. Sure. Yeah. Go and have a look. We'll walk down together. We'll walk down together now. Okay. So, are you physically going to show me a barrier that I've crossed? Yeah. Come on, then. Let's go. This will be very interesting. Like I said, you was doing okay up there, but now you're starting to slack a bit. So, how long have you been in the job? No, thank you. Yeah, that's what I'm here for. I'm an OZ video maker. Well, I'm not going to tell you that. Okay. <laughs> you see um, good things that BMW are doing, like cutting the grass with modern robots, car sharing. I'm highlighting those today, and I'm bigging BMW up. And I was being very polite with yourself when I says, right then, I'm on my way out now. I'm not saying I'm staying until you, you ask me to leave or anything like that. I volunteered to leave, yeah? I'm and pretty I appreciate what you're doing. <laughs> And I, and I, yeah, but I've been on the camera and said, why is the gentleman still filming? Well, you Actually, to film on this side, you should have written permission. Right, and if you want to enforce any rules like that, you need to restrict access to the site by, with a barrier. Right. Now, you're telling me that I've crossed the barrier, so let's see it. Yep, OK. And if there's no barrier there, then you need to go back to them that have told you stop him from filming to say, well, if we want to stop people from filming in the future, we need to restrict access to this place. It's shift change over time over the next 10 minutes, yeah? My friend. Shift change over time, so the bollards are down. My friend, d does a pedestrian t uh, worry about bollards? Well, they should do. What? A pedestrian <laughs> would... If you came into my garden, if I ain't got a fence around, I wouldn't say, what are you doing in my garden, would I? Uh, I'm talking about um, publicly accessible business, not, not homes or residential. I'm saying if a business is publicly accessible, any photographer can walk on and take some photos. <laughs> now, know all better than me, so yeah, well, carry on. Do, do you know these number plates? That's number plates, illegal. Yeah, I'm not the police. Right, are you going to show me these bollards or not? Yeah, we've right. got there yet. Every single person that I've met today has been a shining, shining example of how BMW staff should behave. All right, okay. And you was at the start. But I think that you're just following orders, which are ridiculous orders. But why, if you're asked to do something that's ridiculous, why don't you question it? And just say, we don't need to hassle him anymore. He said he's leaving, let's just let him leave. We don't have to give him any more directives to try and stamp our authority. Right. Can you raise the ballards for me, please? Oh yeah, I can see it now. So with the bollards raised, how do people get to your reception that are on foot? They ring the buzzer there. Show me it. Let's, let's make sense of it. You see? What's up there? Yeah, let's go closer. We need to get to the bottom of this one. We don't. I'm not going to talk to you anymore. All yeah. oh, right. Once I've showed you up, you're going to retreat, are you? Oh, feel that way, yeah. No problem at all.
Yeah. Let's let's see what you're going to show me then. That's a ballard. <coughs> oh, the, the, these ballards here, you mean? Yeah. So when a pedestrian arrives at your beautiful building, what? Excuse me. We've not finished our business, so I'll be coming back on until you make sense. You've told me. Can you please leave the premises? You've told me that there's Can a there's a barrier the to premises? stop the, the pedestrians Can from you coming on your site. Leave the premises? So where is this barrier? Can you please leave the premises? Where's the where's the barrier? It doesn't matter. Please leave Yes, the it premises. does matter. You have got no authority over the members of the public when they're coming on your site with an open pedestrian footpath. Okay. When you mention the barriers, that Show is me. absolutely ridiculous. Show me. Right. This is what should happen, okay? This is what should happen. When you've got a pedestrian footpath coming onto your company, if you want any rules to be adhered to, like appointment by um, uh, visitors by appointment only or anything like that, you need to have a sign. Why are you looking away? That's rude. I'm trying to talk to you. Why? I don't want to listen to you. I've got more important things to do. No, you haven't. With you. No, you haven't. Yes, because have. if you had more important things to do, when I told you I was leaving, you should have gone off and done them. You then approach me to try and rile me up and you've succeeded. I've got wild, yes, you have. No, yes, you have. Well, go away now. Go away. Who do you think you've got the authority to tell me to go away to? Get back to work. Well, you get to my premises and I'll get back to work. Where, where's your premises start? The end of this ballard here. No, it's not. Is it not? No, because this here is a pedestrian. How the hell would people cross the road if they can't use this bit? You absolute oh. moron. Oh, well, thank you very much. Get back to work. Let's do the insulting bit. Get Not back to work. Get back to work. <laughs> I thought you had more important things to do. Come on, man. Go and do them then. Oh, you look happy about that. Look, he's happy now. Look, he's got a new burst of life. You've got a new lease of life now, the police have arrived. All right, gents, how are you? Not too bad, yourselves. Yeah, just to let you know, this guy's playing with film on the soil and recording everything to do with you. Okay. Um, he's been down the bottom of our site. We've asked him to leave. He's leaving, but he's coming across with all these Okay. 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 Yeah, just to clarify, do you know when you asked me to leave, did I proceed all the way to the exit at that point? When you were filming, yes. Thank you. Thank filming. you for establishing that. Okay, yeah. How are we doing, sir? Yeah, yeah, I'm sound. What it is, I'm making a video yeah. about BMW today. Okay. When I walk onto the pedestrian footpath, if it's publicly accessible, I just go as far as I can and yeah. tell a master to leave. This is making a video to see how professional they're going to behave and the video will just tell its story. Okay. So by going on, I've, I've actually met some gardeners with a, a, an amazing bit of kit today. They've got a robot which cuts grass and I've never seen it before. I had a nice pleasant conversation with him and I've been pleasant with this guy, but then I saw this car sharing, um, they've got car sharing in there and it's a new thing where you have an app, you register and it will tell you where the nearest car sharing um, car is available. And there's actually one in there right now. So the public can go and access that, but I've not made a big deal out of it. It's asked me to leave, so I've left. And then you've arrived because I presume um, the lithium battery place, Jaguar Land Rover, of course. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So same thing. I've gone in there. Right, that's enough talking. I'll let you carry on. All right. Take it easy. Take it easy. Thank you. Warwickshire Police there. Very, very professional indeed. No problems with that at all. And off they go to reassure the um, Jaguar Land Rover building. To, just to assure them that there's nothing being plotted behind their back. So I hope you've enjoyed that video from BMW. If you have, give it a thumbs up for me. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye for now.